It's Brandy. I'm a wholesaler here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I have three deals under contract and have already made $71,000. Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So on my blog, I share how I made my fortune in real estate. I uh, started 19 years old, millionaire by 28. I did it one small deal at a time, and then they grew into bigger and bigger deals, and now I have tens of millions. Wrote a book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. It's been a bestseller on Amazon, uh, paperback, and Kindle, and also now uh, on Audible. So today, I thought we'd take a look at uh, Max Maxwell, uh, How to Start Wholesaling Real Estate with $1,000. This is uh, Max Maxwell. I guess he's a wholesaler. I watched about the first minute or two of it, and I, I liked what I heard, and so I thought this would be a good one to start with. Let's, let's start. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. I called J-Rock in my office just to do this video, and the reason why is because I'm seeing this question a lot. I get it on my YouTube channel. I get it on my Instagram. I get it in the Facebook group. And the question is, what do I do if I'm starting this business with a thousand or two thousand dollars and here's what I would say don't spend any of it and here's why because there's so many methods to get started in wholesaling without actually having to spend that type of money and you've heard this before if you follow me on many platforms but here's the breakdown if you really want to learn this business, all you have to do is study it and become obsessed. Now that costs nothing because- All right, I'm gonna speed him up a little bit. He, he doesn't talk all that fast. We'll take him up to one and a half times speed. Uh, so this is interesting. He's talking about not spending a thousand bucks. I tell people all the time, don't waste your money on seminars. When, when it comes to seminars, uh, free seminars are not free. They're looking for your wallet. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, you are the target. You are the money. You know, they're getting slicker and slicker out there. Uh, but it's silly to spend a lot of money on a course. That money that you have, that's your seed capital for investing. Okay, that's what it's for. It's for investing. Let's, let's see what uh, Max has to say. And keep in mind, we're speeding them up a little bit. All the information you need in this business is scattered across the internet. It's up to you to put it together to make an actual business. What I mean by that, on YouTube, there's many, many, many places you can find stuff on YouTube. My channel and other people's channels on, on YouTube as well. Their podcasts, religiously listen to podcasts. I mean, don't listen to anything but podcasts is what I'm actually saying. When you're in your car, no radio, all podcasts. When you're at the gym. Uh, I'd also recommend you listen to them in high speed because you can cover a lot more territory that way. Gym, no music, all podcasts. When you're walking out, when you're doing anything you're doing, when you can have headphones on, cleaning your house or anything, listen to a podcast. There's several podcasts available. Please, please take the time to listen to it. It's going to put you in the mind frame to become a wholesaler and learn. One technique and exactly how I got started was driving for dollars. Now, most of you might know what that means, but all that is is taking the time, filling up your car with gas, take some little bit of money, 30 bucks in gas, and drive around your city. Drive around in places that are developing, decent established neighborhoods, neighborhoods that were built in the 50s, 60s, 70s. Drive around in places you've never been before. And the reason why you want to drive around, you're going to look for houses that look vacant, tall grass, tall bushes, you know, just unkept property. And when you find those properties, you're going to look at your local tax record, whether it's online or downtown, but everybody's got it online. Put in the property address and find out who the owner is see if they're behind on taxes, see if they have any other thing wrong with their property, and then try to reach out to them. Skip trace them in whatever manner you can. Okay, so I'm going to add to that right there. And I got no argument with everything he said is good. And listen, in my book, which this is my book, by the way, uh, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate, uh, that's one of the things I talk about, or, or one of the things where I've made a lot of money, is doing exactly what he's talking about. You guys call it driving for dollars. I didn't call it back that back then when I first started, but you pick out an area, a specific area, and you drive it every day. And one of the reasons is there's not just, not just the fact that there might be a place that's, you know, not unkept and, you know, a broken window and torn up blinds. And, you know, these are all indications of stuff like that, but you'll see changes. You'll know when you know an area well enough. And that's why I talk about my real estate barbells. You know, I, I drive around my work area, all around my, my work and then I also drive all, array, uh, all around my home. And in between, that path in between looks like a barbell because I end up buying everything around my home and I end up buying everything around my, uh, around my office, wherever I work too. So all good stuff so far, like what he has to say. Uh, but what I will say right here is, and what I meant to say in the beginning is, before you go talking to that owner of that property, you need to know 
what that property's worth. You have to know value because you may find out he's, you know, going down or he's, you know, got problems. There's issues. There's a reason the house looks like hell, but you need to know what you're willing to pay for it. So you got to know what you're willing to pay for it. Uh, but I like what he's saying so far. Let's keep listening. You can use Skip Genie. You can use REI Skip if you have a lot of numbers. You can use a bunch of different places to find it. Remember, cheap and skip tracing don't come together. So if you're gonna want, if you want good numbers to reach the right people, you're gonna pay a good amount. Anywhere from 35 cents, 45 cents a piece, 25 cents a piece, all the way to a buck 50. Cheap and skip tracing don't go in the same sentence. Okay, so I don't want that question anymore either. I think a lot of people getting into this business when they start out skip tracing and making phone calls, they don't know the actual cost of skip tracing prior to getting in this business. When I started less than two years ago, skip tracing was very expensive. Matter of fact, you couldn't even get it. So now that you have places like REI Skip and Skip Genie to get places to skip where it might cost you anywhere from 45 cents, 25 cents up to a dollar, dollar fifty, that is actually cheap because the alternative to that is mailing someone, and we all know how frequent you have to mail that person and, and if it actually reaches that person, and that's gonna cost you way more. To do a traditional mail piece for the six, seven times that they recommend, it's gonna cost you anywhere from three to five dollars to hit those persons six to seven times that they can recommend. So if you can skip trace and call a person for 25 cents, 45 cents, a um, dollar, dollar fifty, it's still way cheaper and you get your answer without having to do it over and over and over again. Agreed. If you're gonna to talk to the owner, you really know, need to know what property values are worth. You really do. And I'm not saying you have to put in a bunch of effort first, but uh, certainly making a contact is good. Finding out what's up is, is a good idea. But uh, by the second call, you better know what you're, what you're willing to offer, what you're willing to pay. Again, right so driving for dollars skip tracing that is the two things I would do right away if you got a little budget write some handwritten signs or go on to um, dirtcheapsigns.com order 100 signs for 300 bucks put them up sporadically as far as where you put them up put 25 up a week 25 up a week 25 up a week 25 up a week. do it consistent because in this business the best marketing here's a tip listen up the best marketing in this business is consistency stay consistent and you will see results if you don't and you hopping on to the new and next trend every time you're never gonna make it in this business and I can tell you myself, this business will change your life. So I hope I answered this question. If you have a few dollars to get started, a thousand, two thousand dollars, drive for dollars. Drive for dollars for at least a month before you go spend any money. While you're driving for dollars, listen to podcasts. Don't watch YouTube and drive, but listen, look, look at YouTube when you're at home, your time off. Come, become completely obsessed. Turn off power. Turn off all these other shows you're watching. Spend that time learning about real estate. You're simply getting something under contract at a very discounted rate and selling that piece of paper for something more than you got it for. That is, that is the, that's it. You can wholesale. In my book, I have a whole chapter uh, dedicated just to assignments, quality more than quantity. Uh, this wholesaling, it seems like a lot of work to me. It's not my thing. Uh, Flipman is somebody I know. First started my channel, I talked with Flipman. He's a wholesaler too. Wholesaling is not my specialty. I like to buy it under market and sell it for more. I like to close the deal and sell it for more. I, I like to find a great deal and buy it. I always like to buy it. I prefer to buy it. Sometimes when I'll get a great deal, this is how I kind of fell into what you guys call wholesaling, is I found a great property. I got a building. I could buy it for 150000 It was worth 220000 I didn't know who had money or I couldn't buy it by myself at that time. And so I contacted my old boss who's got money, right? Your boss, he gives you a paycheck. So I called my old boss and said, hey, come look at this, John. I got this property. He came over. He took a look at it. And he said, you're right, Tommy. He said, uh, this is a great deal. And I go, well, let's buy it. We'll be partners and we'll split the money. And he looked at me and he goes, he goes, I don't want a partner. And I was kind of like, huh, what? And he goes, no, he goes, look, how about I give you $20,000, Tommy, and I'll just buy it by myself. And I was like, I was like, probably, I don't know, 23 years old. And I go, oh. <laughs> that's a fantastic deal. And uh, so that's how I made my first, what you guys call wholesaling, is I assigned a contract to my old boss and I made $20,000. And this was, a, you know, this is after I'd already, you know, I got pretty well into it. My first deal I made, uh, I closed the deal and somebody offered me 20000 more than I just paid for it. That was another. And again, first building I ever bought, first property I ever bought was 6,000 square foot uh, industrial commercial building. And, uh, but anyhow, I like what Max has to say. I want to keep listening anything in this world okay so unless you become obsessed with wholesaling do not email me 40 50 60 70 times and ask the same questions become obsessed put the same amount of energy into working for somebody else as you would working for yourself and, and i'm going to tell you something i don't know if max has a book yet but I, max i recommend you might want to write a book uh because what i just flat tell people because i my first few years of my my channel i would just answer everybody's questions but it, it is becomes very annoying to get the same question you know a hundred times in a week or hundred times in whatever a month it doesn't take long uh, it feels like a hundred times even if it's only 10 uh, and so you kind of get to a point where you just say look just uh, buy the book 
buy the book. It answers all your questions. And that's what I tell people. Buy my book. For 10 bucks on Kindle, you get so many questions answered. And uh, not that I, I, I think listening to podcasts is a great idea. It, it's very difficult out there because there's so much snake oil out there. There's so many people trying to scam you out of your money, trying to get you to spend five thousand dollars they try to get you you know hey they want to get your email they want to get your phone number so they can have hard salesmen pressure you to buy and i'm telling you right now you don't need any of it i mean i even i have a mentorship but i don't push it on anybody uh but a i say start with a ten dollar book and then see if it's really what you want to do uh because one thing you can listen to podcasts and unfortunately there's a lot of fluff in a lot of them and i'm afraid some of you might be dissuaded from listening i've listened to podcasts where the guys talk on and on and on and they're talking about nothing talking about nothing they're talking about they're not talking about deals and making money i show you guys where i make you know i make you know ten hundred millions of dollars on single transactions i want to see real stuff and i suggest you hold everybody to that standard but i, I like everything max has to say at least keep listening i'm telling you you will see results remember be consistent be persistent and you're only one Agreed. deal away and listen if you're not following me on instagram jrock put my instagram somewhere here Follow me on Instagram. Join my Facebook group. There's over 27,000 members in my Facebook group. It's called Wholesaling Houses Elite. And one last thing. Go to my website called Wholesaling Elite Live. I am holding a big event in October in Charlotte, North Carolina. And if you have not yet gotten your ticket, you are crazy. I'm going to put you in a room full of amazing, amazing wholesalers. Big dogs. People that are part-time, full-time. I'm talking the big one. You're going to be around 400 other wholesalers in that building. It's going to be the best wholesaling event ever. It's going to be a two-and-a-half-day event in Charlotte, North Carolina in October. Matter of fact, I'm going to sign off right now. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe, share it with a friend that can enjoy it. And I want you to watch this video about the event in Charlotte, North Carolina. J-Rock, play it right now. And when you're done, click on that and go buy your ticket because there's only a couple dozen left. I'll see you guys later. So on that note, I'll ask you to uh, subscribe to my channel right now. Uh, so I don't know, let's watch this prom promo. Look, I always say I don't trust anybody. I just don't. And you shouldn't trust anybody. Anybody that stands to make money from you, you, you just got to listen to what they say. But, uh, you know, uh, you got to discern what you hear. Test sincerity with the wallet when I make deals. And uh, I test sincerity when somebody, uh, you know, makes a pitch or says they can do something for you. I like to see proof that they can do that. So let's, let's go ahead and watch this, the rest of this. Now is a good time to begin. All it takes is one phone call, one massive action. You're one deal away from having the life you've always wanted. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, make a deal. I'll tell you what. When you, when you make your first deal, <laughs> you got to make another deal after that. Because I tell you, what's, this is what's so exciting about making money in real estate. And, and I don't care if it's the wholesaling or, or uh, buying things the way I buy things. Sometimes you're going to miss a deal by that much. But it means you're on the trail, right? It means you're getting close. You're, doing, you're getting very, very close to doing the right thing. And then one day you're going to make a deal. And you're going to close it. And you're going to make that money. And all of a sudden you got 10 extra grand or a Fifty thousand dollars more. I mean, when I first started, I was happy just to make five thousand dollars. But that's your seed capital, and you keep growing that seed until it's like a big old bush and a plant and a giant oak tree. And that's what you can do. That's the beauty: is you always have to have an investment working for you. Let's keep watching. The tips and the tricks you're going to learn. You have no option but to win. There is not going to be a wholesaler in this country that won't learn something from this event. Everybody at this event is going after the exact same mission. Solve problems and make money. It's going to be a room full of hustlers. The people that you're thinking, I can never be in the same room with them. They're going to be there. You're going to want to be there. I'm not. So I'm going to say something to this because on my, uh, on my mentorship, every Saturday I do a Zoom meeting. And uh, sometimes we have 40, 50 people in there. Sometimes we have, you know, whatever that is, 12, 15. It's very important to stay motivated. Well, while you got an interest in it, you need to find the right mentor. You need to find the right book. You need to find the right videos. You need to find the right people to follow where you're actually getting information, not just the hype, but information. I'm not going to let anybody teach me how to get in shape that isn't already in better shape than I am. So let's keep watching. I'm bringing you top dollar speakers. I'm bringing you top dollar earners. These people are going to give you specific examples on how to exactly run your wholesaling business, how to go from zero to $100,000 a month and scale beyond. Hey, man. That's a pretty big claim, zero to $100,000 a month. That's, uh, yeah. Again, I'd like to see it, but I like what he says. It's Brandy. I'm a wholesaler here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I have three deals under contract and have already made $71,000. Thank you, Max, for everything. Can't wait to see you in October. I don't care if you haven't done a deal yet or you're doing three to four deals a month. You're going to learn everything you need to know about wholesaling from starting to scaling. 
thank you for all of the advice, the kick in the butt that you've given me just to push me to um, implement your strategies and your solution into my business and earning my first big check of $13,000. Yeah, I love this. I love that, uh, and this is something I really appreciate, Max, is if you watch this, Max, uh, he's, he's actually demonstrating with testimonials, okay? He's demonstrating with testimonials people that have really made money, and they're calling in, and if you ever get into my mentorship, <clears throat> on my site, it's loaded with testimonials, okay? These are testimonials, people. These, these are just book testimonials. This guy here, uh, he, it's, he's got a check here for $39,000, but... Uh, uh, 25,000 of that is profit. And, uh, in fact, he, he, he took the mentorship after he made that money, he made that money, just watching my channel and getting motivated and doing some of the things that I teach you to do on my channel as well. Uh, in the mentorship, these are great. These are great testimonials right here. This guy here, I mean, by their own accounts, they've all, all three of them now by their own accounts have made more than $200,000 a piece. Okay. And that's within like a month, do like a one month crash course. And then you're still in the club for a year and you have full access to me. I'll help you close deals. I'll talk to you on the phone. Inside the mentorship, I show you here, we've got calculators uh, for certain different kinds of deals and transactions that you do. Uh, I've got downloads in here for contracts, uh, stuff that's in the book. You always have to have my book. You can't even, can't even take the mentorship until you have the book. Uh, I don't, I, it's the pre-qualify. It's really a prerequisite to being in the classes to get the book. Because if you get the book, you should be passionate about making money in real estate. If you're not, then then obviously don't don't bother. So I appreciate Max that you're actually demonstrating uh, with results. And and uh, you know I don't I'm assuming these aren't actors. I, I I you know I I believe it. I believe it because he's got people that are that are really showing that they uh, have made money. They're testimonials. They're important. Let's keep. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Can't wait to get to the event in October. Looking forward to it. In this room alone, there's going to be a dozen millionaires. And if that doesn't speak to why everybody needs to be here, then I don't know what will. If you want to make money and make a difference, impact and income, then this is the event for you. We are Elite Wholesalers. And this event is going to be a reminder that the life you want, the family you want, is going to be fueled by the business you build. You're just one deal away. I'm going to put you in a room full of millionaires, gurus, not gurus, people that actually take action. We're all going to be here. We're here for the same reason, to solve problems and make money. Well, that's pretty nice. It's a, it's a super clean video, i got to say. Nice job, Max. Uh, everything he said regarding, uh, you know, consistency. Uh, I like that he's got uh, testimonials that, I mean, listen, most of these guys are like, look at the balloons. They don't want to talk about testimonials. They don't have any. And so that's a, a very important thing. What I want to add to this is the main thing is is getting started. A lot of people think they're going to shortcut things by throwing money at it. And when you go to these seminars, I'm not saying his seminar, but you go to these seminars, believe me, the seminars, you are the money. They're trying to take your money. And so what they do is they say, who's got $10,000? Who's really serious about making money? Who's got $20,000? And, you know, it's unfortunate because when you say you want to go to a real estate seminar, the person that holds that real estate seminar, in their mind, they're thinking, oh, you must have enough money to buy real estate. Well, if you have enough money to buy real estate, I want to get some of your money. And that's what they do. They prey on you at these seminars. And uh, like he, he doesn't even call his a seminar. He calls it an event. And I take him at his word. Good job on the video overall. Those of you uh, that are interested, that's my book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. Flip Anything USA is my website. I have a channel, Flip Anything USA, on YouTube. You can go look at that, too. I take you through, I mean, I don't know anybody that does as many fixer-uppers and has the experience that I have. I've been doing this a very, very long time, and I've been a millionaire for a very long time, and I uh, made my first million at 28. It's just a wonderful lifestyle. I know it's teachable now. I've done it. I've taught people to do what I do, and they're making money. Get out there, make things happen for yourself, and uh, thanks for watching.